What's up, bros? So today I'm going to be showing you my LEGO Marvel minifigure collection. So I'm going to be showing all of my minifigures from Marvel. So there's going to be some Avengers stuff, mostly Avengers. This video is a collaboration with my fellow LEGO Alliance members, Legendary Warrior 135, EQ Productions, and Pat SB. Be sure to check out their Marvel collection videos as well. So uh, I hope you'll enjoy the video. Now, first off, I'm going to be showing you my Iron Man minifigures. So, from left to right, here's Invincible Iron Man, Iron Man Mark 50 from the MCU, the Age of Ultron Iron Man, also from the MCU, and the Silver Centurion Iron Man. So, first off, we're going to take a look at the Silver Centurion armor. This is one of the most detailed LEGO minifigures of all time. As you can see here, there's printing in front of the legs, printing on the side of the legs, printing on the side of the arms. There's even this back piece on the armor for printing. And just pull that up. There's even some silver printing on the side of the helmet. And as you can see here, there's two facial prints. One with a happy Tony and one with a beat up Tony. So battle damage technically. And here's the silver centurion without the armor piece. Just put that to the side. So you can see here there's some really nice back printing as well. This is one of my favorite LEGO minifigures of all time. Great minifigure. And here we have Invincible Iron Man on the left from the comics and Justin Hammer. So you can see here some really nice printing for both of these minifigures. And here's the back printing. As you can see here, there's some, there's double-sided head prints, and, and here's Tony and Justin with their hair, and here we have the Mark 50, and what I think is the Mark 40, not entirely sure, but all I know is it's the suit Tony used in Age of Ultron. And as you can see here, both of these minifigures have some excellent printing for the torso and the front of the legs. And there's some differences in the helmet. As you can see here, this helmet has blue eyes. Well, this helmet only has white eyes. And this helmet doesn't have a lot of black printing. There's just like one line of printing. Well, here there's like a whole edge of black printing. And, as you can see here, here are the two faces. Let me just switch that around. There's no arm printing for either of these. Here's the back printing. Here's the back facial expressions for the two minifigures. Pretty cool if you ask me. And here we have Black Panther on the right and Killmonger on the left. So you can see here these minifigures are both from the first Black Panther movie. And now let's have an F in the chat for our brother Chadwick Boseman. Rest in power. And as you can see here, there's some really awesome printing for the torso and for the head. There's even some side printing here. Sadly, no leg printing or arm printing. As you can see here, that's the back of both of the minifigures. I honestly have no idea why Black Panther has blue, light blue energy printing instead of light purple energy printing because it just makes the minifigure inaccurate because in the movie when the Black Panther absorbs kinetic energy his suit just glows purple not blue so I mean come on Lego what were you thinking when you made this minifigure and there's also this little piece that goes on top of Black Panther and Killmonger's heads so you can see right here, a really cool piece, but it would have been better if there was just like a helmet piece for Black Panther and Killmonger. And here we have two Spider-Mans. On the left we have the Miles Morales Spider-Man, and on the right we have the MCU Spider-Man normal suit. Stark suit, I think that's what they call it. And as you can see, Miles lacks a lot of printing. This is a new version of Miles, not the old version. Lacks, you know, print on the legs and on the arms. But the MCU Spidey, as you can see here, there's some great printed legs and some awesome printing on the arms. 
and it's the back side of the minifigures. So anyway, I like both of these minifigures, but the MCU Spidey just, um, this feels cooler in my opinion. And lastly, here are some minifigure parts I have. Either I lost the minifigure or when I got it in the trade, I just didn't get the whole minifigure. As you can see here, first off, we've got Iron Spider, which has some really lit arm printing, as you can see here. And the torso printing is awesome. The same head as the Spider-Man Homecoming suit. And the back torso is even cooler than the front torso, in my opinion. And then we have a Thor torso and Gamora. She doesn't have a torso. When I got Gamora, I actually had, it came with the torso, but I lost it. So, gotta take the L sometimes, just like I lost Spider-Man's legs. And for Thor, when I got him in the trade, I just traded for the torso. Uh, didn't have a choice. So, um, yeah, those are the parts that don't have the full minifigure, sadly. And here we have every Captain America minifigure that I have. As you can see here, there's Pilot Cap, Infinity War Cap, Civil War and Age of Ultron Cap, and Endgame Cap. Endgame Cap is really cool because it has this new helmet piece. I just recently got this minifigure, and it's funny how uh, the Infinity War Cap has the same hair piece as Star-Lord. Civil War and Infinity War Cap have a few similarities. As you can see here, Infinity War Cap is basically a downgrade of the Civil War Cap. Well, it's not a downgrade, it's just that it's, you know, Cap's not an Avenger in the film anymore, basically, because he didn't sign the, uh, the Sokovia Accords, so that's why he went rogue. And as you can see here, there's no arm printing. That black sharpie over there, I just added that for fun. And see here, there's some back printing. Civil War Cap has red, but Infinity War Cap just has brown, as you can see. And it also has this, this is the old version of Captain America's shield, the red version. And here's Pilot and Endgame Cap. As you can see, Endgame Cap has the quantum suit. And that new shield design, that's pretty cool. And it has, of course, there's, you know, two sides of Cap's head. And that new helmet piece. And Pilot Cap's just Pilot Cap with that red shield piece. No arm printing for both minifigures. Quantum Cap has some leg printing. Well, this is just a normal blue leg. And as you can see here, there's some back printing for both of these as well. Great minifigures. And here's Thanos the Mad Titan, my only Avengers Marvel big fig. And he's actually pretty cool because he comes with the Infinity Gauntlet. I only have three Infinity Stones. And I have two Reality Stones because reality can be whatever I want. So yeah, Thanos is a pretty cool big fig. You can call him the Mad Titan, the Inevitable One. Call him whatever you want. It's just a really cool big fig, and here's his other arm. As you can see here, there's some really cool gold and silver printing over the dark blue. No back printing. But yeah, this is a really cool big fig. And here we have Star-Lord. On the left, that's the Star-Lord from Avengers Infinity War. And on the right, it's the Star-Lord from Guardians of the Galaxy, the first movie. And as you can see here... There's some really awesome leg printing and torso print for Guardians of the Galaxy Star-Lord. While the Infinity War version is just eh. The jacket, I think, is cooler than this jacket, but lacks leg printing. And it only comes with Peter Quill with his hair. While the Guardians of the Galaxy version comes with this really cool helmet, as you can see here. Let me just get a good shot of that. That hair color is really similar to that color. It's like the same color, and I really like that. This helmet is just one of the best helmets that LEGO has ever made, in my opinion. And as you can see here, there's some back printing for the torsos for both of these minifigures. Really awesome. And here we have Captain Marvel and Miss Marvel. This Captain Marvel is the MCU version, and it's the green and blue suit. 
It came with the Captain Marvel poly bag that I got. Nick Fury also came in that poly bag. So you can see here both of these minifigures. So you can see here both of these minifigures will have no arm printing, while Miss Marvel does have some leg printing. And they both have some back printing and some different facial expressions. Here we have Age of Ultron Black Widow and Avengers Infinity War Black Widow. So you can see here, Age of Ultron Black Widow is just the normal MCU Black Widow. She's got some great printing and she's got some great leg printing as well. While Black Widow has some awesome leg printing for her Infinity War suit and some cool torso printing with that really sexy blonde hair. There's some really cool torso printing for the back as well. And they both have reversed, well, she doesn't have them. This is actually from a keychain, so uh, no back printing for her. And here we have Agent Phil Coulson and a young Nick Fury. And as you can see here, they both have reversed facial expressions. Let me just switch the heads. Here are their side facial expressions. As you can see here, they both have no printing for arms or legs. And here's the back printing. There's just a little back printing. But these minifigures are still pretty cool. And here we have the Super Adoptoid, which is basically this robot created to destroy the Avengers. In the comics, he's this robot who can basically, well, if he touches you, he'll gain your powers. Like, that's why he has this Thor torso and this Iron Man-ish helmet. As you can see here, there's no head printing. And he included these falcon wings, which is a really cool piece in my opinion. It uh, lacks arm printing and leg printing, but eh, what can you do? As you can see here, that's the back printing. Some really cool silver over there. Next up, we have two Outriders. As you can see here, the left is from the Avengers Endgame, and the right is the Avengers Infinity War version. Now, the minifigure is the same. Same print, except the parts used are different. As you can see here, for the Infinity War version, it's just these little small black arms, which are kind of trash, I'll be honest. While well, for the endgame version, we get some golden claws with this piece right here, which is way better in my opinion. And as you can see, this is the back printing. We've got some really cool back printing for the head and for the torso. I am Groot. 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 And finally, these two minifigures, which are basically some goons that Spider-Man fought in Spider-Man Homecoming. Why did I really want these minifigures? Well, because those head prints are really cool. You can see here, there's some reverse prints, but these aren't cool. What's cool is the Hulk and Sp Captain America prints. The torso and the legs, they aren't special, the print isn't special, it's just those heads that are really cool in my opinion. And lastly, we have Carnage. This is the original Carnage that came with Miles Morales in this small $15 set. This isn't the new version. The new version has a little orange in it, I don't know why, it just makes the whole minifigure kind of bad in my opinion. This version is way better, as you can see here, a lot of black and printing on the red for the legs and the torso and even the arms which is really good gg lego and that's some awesome head printing some more head printing on the back and for the torso this is a really great minifigure really glad i got this in a trade awesome mini so that's my entire lego marvel collection a bunch of awesome minifigures and um, if you want to support the channel you know be sure to drop a like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video maybe tell me a comment tell me which one of these is your favorite minifigure so yeah I hope you bros have a great day may the force be with you see it bros